Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. I'm back with probably my only Lego haul this month because I don't think I'm going to buy a lot of the Jurassic World sets on day one. They're just really expensive and I don't want to have too much stuff at school. But to start things off, I do have the new Back to the Future Time Machine set. Um, yeah, I know I said I wasn't going to buy this, but... I mean, I like buying Lego sets, and this is a cool build, so I am I, I am kind of still on the fence. I might return it, but I did buy it for now, and we'll go ahead and see if I end up keeping it and building it. But I mean, even if I do, this is the kind of set that I'm going to sell in just a couple of months. I kind of just want the experience of building it and owning it for a little while. Basically the same thing I did with the Ghostbusters Ecto-1, which is up for sale right now. With this purchase, I also got the new Easter Chicks set. This is really cute. I'm excited to build it. Um, I don't... Yes, I think the egg does have storage. That's something I was wondering. Um, oh, or it's actually just a place to put them hatching. That's really cute. I didn't know it could do that. So I'm excited to build this. I do like LEGO seasonal sets. Um, I also got the new Endgame Battle minifigure pack. Um, if you guys remember from my reveal, I don't love this set because of that stupid Valkyrie. Um, but I mean, this is a pretty good value for $15, and it does have an awesome exclusive Korg, and an exclusive build for Meek, who does not come in the Love and Thunder sets, so I'm very excited to build this one as well. And then I went ahead and got the rest of the new Marvel sets, so this is the Spider-Man and Green Goblin mech battle. I already have these minifigures, and I don't particularly love either of these mechs. I'm intrigued by Green Goblins because I like the color scheme, and Spider-Man's is, like, kind of interesting, but um, I'm just a Marvel collector, so I buy every Marvel set that LEGO makes, including the full plus ones. And then I did get all of the other new mechs, which is great, because I was really excited for these to come out January 1st, and then, of course, they were delayed. So I'm really looking forward to building these. I'm actually planning on doing some of these tonight before the next episode of Moon Knight comes out, um, by which time, I mean, this video is going to be uploaded in the morning, so... I'm, like I said, really excited to build these great minifigures. Pretty cool builds as well. I'm actually pretty excited for the Iron Man one. It is another Iron Man mech, but I really love the figure, and I like the emphasis on gold. Of course, this is our first Wolverine in years. Um, first regular-sized Wolverine in eight years. So I'm really excited for that one. The Black Panther one, I think, is the most boring. Um, I was actually really looking forward. I was hoping we'd get Black Panther and Captain Marvel mechs this year, but I just feel like LEGO didn't really do like as good of a job as they could have with this set like no leg printing reused face um the build doesn't really have anything special but um yeah that pretty much does it for this haul it's not a very big one this time whoopsie um it's not a very big one this time just because there weren't a lot of lego sets that came out on april 1st um it looks like lego's saving most of them for like the 26th or the 27th is when like a ton of new sets are coming out don't know why, maybe just production delays, but then I don't know why they wouldn't just push to May 1st, which is like five days later. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you guys want me to review first. Um, I'll probably do Easter Chicks first and then start moving into the Marvel stuff. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and check out my website, goldenninja3000.com, and I'll see you guys with more videos soon. Bye for now.